Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca and welcome to my channel. So today I want to talk about coding boot camps. This is definitely a very popular topic on YouTube. I've seen a bunch of videos on it, but I kind of noticed that a lot of people who make these videos haven't actually done boot camp themselves. And I did do a coding boot camp a few years ago, so I kind of wanted to give my two cents on it, talk about my experience a little bit, and maybe help you decide if you are looking into doing a boot camp if it really is the right path for you. So let's get started with my experience. So I went to college for mass communications and I worked in radio for a few years. I got an internship there, worked part-time, and then got a full-time job there. It was a blast. I really enjoyed working there, but I ended up leaving and getting a job in social media marketing. And that was where I was like, okay, this is fun, but I can't really see myself doing this for like a whole career. And I knew I needed a change. And my husband, he was not my husband at the time, but my now husband, he was a software engineer. He majored in computer science. And I really kind of envied his job and his um, flexibility that he got and the stuff he was working on, I thought was pretty cool. And so he kind of helped me find some just very beginner resources so I can like start learning HTML and CSS and JavaScript. And also, of course, I knew a little bit of it from my MySpace days. But yeah, and I remember learning about like front end development and I was like, okay, yeah, I could totally see myself doing that because I've always been into the creative side of things. Um, and if I can like build stuff that people use and it looks cool, it sounds pretty awesome. So he also helped me kind of decide to do a boot camp. He was like, you should do this as a job and the fastest way to get there is a coding boot camp. I think he had known one or two people that he worked with that did a coding boot camp. And so he knew that like it worked. It wasn't just like a scam or something. And he helped me look through a lot of the syllabuses for a lot of the different courses to help me decide which one to take. So props to my husband for a lot of support on that. Yeah, so I did one in 2019, started in February, ended in May, and I was a lucky one where I had a job lined up. So finished my boot camp. two weeks later, I started my job as a front-end developer. So yeah, that's kind of like my experience in a nutshell. The boot camp itself, while I was in it, I didn't love it. Like I was not necessarily like regretting doing it, but I just remember thinking like, oh, this is, this is painful, I guess in a way. And I knew I needed to do a boot camp because I just knew myself and I wasn't going to accomplish the goals I wanted to by myself. I, I knew I needed to dedicate four months to it. I quit my job. I didn't have income for four months. Um, I knew I needed that kind of like fire under my butt to be like, okay, I need to get a job. I need to learn this and learn it quick. So that's why I decided to do a full-time bootcamp because they also have part-time bootcamps, you know, if you can't quit your job, which most people can't, or if you have other responsibilities and you can't dedicate your entire day to it. Um, those typically last, I think, around like six months. So that is an, another option as well. You don't have to do it full-time. I just knew it would work for my lifestyle. Yeah, so it was just very intense as the bootcamp name kind of implies. Um, you learn so much in such short little time that you definitely feel kind of lost sometimes and kind of overwhelmed. You kind of feel like, oh shoot, am I really going to be able to pull this off? And I think in a way it's kind of good <laughs> that you feel that way because it's kind of like how you feel as a software engineer. I'll kind of get more into that later. But it was definitely challenging. It was not a walk in the park. It taught me a lot about myself and patients and working with others um, because we're just a whole classroom of people all kind of on the same page where we're all little in over our heads um, but obviously I'm very glad that I did it. So now let's talk about whether you should do a boot camp or not. If this is something you are considering, here are some things to keep in mind. Number one I would definitely say is the financial commitment. They are not cheap. <laughs> They are, they range from, I don't know, I don't know what the lowest is, I've seen maybe like 10 grand to like 20 grand, depending on which program you do. Um, I got a little discount, a little scholarship because I'm a woman, so that was helpful, but it's still very pricey. It is not just like a, oh, let me just do this and maybe I'll like it, maybe I won't. It's, it's a big financial and time commitment. Some programs you don't have to pay up front. Some programs I think like allow you to only pay when you actually land a job. 
um, which sounds so ideal, but I think you end up paying like way more in the long run when you do that. So definitely like keep that in mind if you're looking at programs that are offering that. But other than the financial commitment, it really is just the commitment to coding. I would recommend definitely diving into as many free or affordable resources as you possibly can. Not only to prepare yourself for the bootcamp if you want to do that, but also to kind of make sure that this is something you want to dedicate a career to or that you really want to have a job in. So I would definitely recommend like Code Academy, Free Code Camp, those two are like I would say the top two free resources. You can learn so much for free. And I think they even let you build like a little, some little projects. I know with Code Academy, they kind of, you have to get like a premium, <laughs> you have to get a premium subscription uh, to build some projects. But those two resources definitely would check out and do as much as you can and make sure that this is something that you want to do. Because I think there's kind of this misconception going around um, right now because of YouTube about coding and software engineering where these people just work from home and they have it easy and they get paid a lot and oh, I want to do this too, but it is hard. <laughs> the boot camp is hard, learning is hard because you're continuing learning all the time. It's sometimes like easy where you know what you're doing and you feel confident, but there's, there's many times where you're like, I have no idea what to do next. I don't know how I'm going to solve this problem. It requires a lot of teamwork, a lot of dedication. Sometimes it requires working really late. So it's not as glamorous as one would think. So definitely don't just like watch a few soft day in the life of software engineer videos and think, oh, that's what I want to do. You have to make sure that coding is something that is something you want to do. So now that I've kind of talked about my experience and some things to consider if you are thinking about doing a bootcamp, um, here are some tips that will help you excel in your bootcamp and find a job. So my number one tip and this is partly because I did not do this as well as I should have, so I'm relaying this message on to you guys, is to prepare, 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 prepare. <laughs> you cannot over prepare basically. There's so much to learn, um, especially with JavaScript, it's pretty confusing at first. So just go through as many tutorials and YouTube videos and courses as you can, but at some point you do need to kind of switch over into projects and that's where you're really gonna learn. And the good news is when you get the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript down, you can basically build anything, right? You can build a little static page, just put your name, make a little resume or something. That would be a good project to do before your bootcamp. I would definitely recommend doing that because like I said, the bootcamp moves really, really fast and you're not gonna have as much time as you would like to spend on a certain topic. So if you practice, then once you get to the bootcamp and you start learning that topic again, you've already been exposed to it. You kind of already have an idea and you can really learn more in depth in those like few days that you're covering this topic. So that is something I would highly recommend. Another tip would be to utilize your resources when you are in the bootcamp. So you have these instructors that have years of experience and you have TAs that have done the bootcamp already or have some sort of programming knowledge and then you have your classmates. Obviously those are like three different levels of knowledge, but you can learn from everybody. Even if you think you know more than your neighbor, still ask them questions and help them. Um, if you are able to teach somebody something, that's how you know you know it. And also I think it's just important to get different perspectives when you're working through a problem. Like for example, when you are at work, sometimes you look at a problem for days and you're like, I can't figure this out, what is happening? All you really need is a fresh set of eyes on it and someone else can look and be like, oh, you need to fix this. So if you start implementing that concept in your bootcamp, learning from people around you, then I think that would be really helpful. And remembering that there's no such thing as stupid questions. Ask as many as you possibly can. Clarify something that I like to do is when someone explains something to me, I like to just basically repeat it back to them and be like, okay, let me make sure I understand X, Y, and Z. And then they'll be like, Yes, exactly. Or they'll be like, um, no, let me go through this again. So, because sometimes you think you're understanding something, but you're not. So that's just another little helpful tip um, in a boot camp or at, at any job or school. And then if you are in the boot camp, I would advise you to apply to any and every job that you see. That was kind of my big tip for people when I when I ended up getting my job early on in my bootcamp was I just applied to everything that I saw, like everything that had the word JavaScript in it, I applied to it. Even if I thought I wasn't qualified, 
even if I knew it was like for Apple or something where it's like obviously I'm not going to get a job there. Um, I still applied to it and I applied to my current position. I heard back, which I was shocked because their job description was like so intense. Um, it kind of like covered the whole team rather than like my own role. So I was like, oh God, I'm not going to get this job. But I ended up getting it. They were looking for someone entry level and green and it became the perfect opportunity for me to start my tech career. So I'm very thankful for how it worked out and that would be my big piece of advice. My second piece of advice that kind of goes along with that is to don't be afraid to reach out to people on LinkedIn. So on LinkedIn, I noticed after I got my job at my current company that people would message me that are that were doing the boot camp and they'd be like, hey, I did the same boot camp as you and I'm looking to apply for a job at your company. Can you tell me if you like it? any tips, anything like that. And one, I was just impressed that they reached out to me on LinkedIn. Usually they're very professional. And the reason I'm giving you this advice isn't necessarily from my own experience, it kind of is. So I had this girl reach out to me and she was like, hey, I'm doing the same bootcamp as you. I'm looking to apply to your company, any tips? Um, and I thought I really liked it. And then also these people that reached out to me, I send them referral links for the jobs that they are applying to because I get a referral bonus if someone uses my referral link and they get hired, but also because I was once in a bootcamp desperate for a job, and of course I wanna help out people who are in a bootcamp as well. And so I sent her a referral link, gave her all the information on my team, and little did I know that she ended up joining my team. I didn't realize we were hiring someone and it was her, so it kind of worked out for both of us, I would say. Um, so that's kind of a cool little story. So don't be afraid to network. That is something that I don't have much advice on because my boot camp was in 2019, so pre-COVID, so everything was in person. I know most boot camps now are virtual, which may be easier for some of you. Like if you are a little more introverted, typing can be a lot easier, like sending Slack messages. So take advantage of that. Um, I'm sure they do virtual networking events for these type of boot camps. These boot camps, the instructors and the people that work there. They have this huge network of employers and alumni and people like that. So take advantage of everything that the bootcamp has to offer and the people that they know as well. And then my last tip for people who are doing a bootcamp is to don't give up and don't think about what could go wrong. I think that was something that kind of helped me was I, for some reason, I am typically a pretty anxious person, but I wasn't really anxious. I kind of was just going day by day and I was like, I'm just gonna apply to jobs and I'll land something. Like I try not to think, oh, this is gonna take forever and I'm never gonna get a job and that kind of negative mindset. So having a positive mindset is only going to help the experience. So that's kind of a cheesy line of advice, but I just wanted to put that out there. So some resources and some ideas for you who are still kind of on the fence about boot camps. Like I mentioned, I needed a full-time course to really focus on in order to make a pretty quick career change. You might not need that. You might be someone that can be self-taught and there are plenty of self-taught engineers out there. All you need are these free and affordable resources online and the dedication and the discipline to study every day and build projects and you could get a job being a software engineer. So definitely don't think a boot camp is the end all be all or anything like that. Like if you don't do a boot camp, you can't ever get a job. If you are someone totally new, like you're not even sure, you just know like coding sounds interesting and maybe you wanna do tech someday, I'll also link a lot of resources in the description that are free and or really affordable. So for example, Udemy never buy their course if it's not on sale. They have like 90, $100 courses, which is fairly affordable for some people but they always go on sale. Like they have like Labor Day, Memorial Day, Valentine's Day sales, and they're like 10 to $15. So definitely keep that in mind if you're trying to buy a Udemy course, just wait until they're on sale. Um, but yeah, they have courses that are by really, really experienced engineers and I've enjoyed so many Udemy courses. However, I've not finished one. <laughs> if you've finished a Udemy course, then props to you. But yeah, they're long, they are filled with great content. Um, you get your money's worth for $10 or $12 or whatever it is. So highly recommend Udemy. Some other ones are Free Code Academy. Free Code Academy? Free Code Camp. I always get that. <laughs> just mix those two. Free Code Camp and 
Code Academy. Those two are great. Those are very hands-on. You're still typing, but like they're kind of giving you everything that you need. And then it's a lot of repetition for you to really learn what's going on. Um, so those are like the top two free resources, especially free Code Camp. Check out their YouTube channel. They have so much like awesome free content. They have like entire eight hour courses and it is, it is incredible what they are able to offer. And they also have like a curriculum on their website that you can work through and get some sort of certification. But yeah, definitely check out free Code Camp. And some other fun ones that I really liked when I was doing my bootcamp were Flexbox, Froggies, and Flex Zombies? Flexbox Zombies? I can't even remember the name of it right now. And that was very hard to say. But yeah, those um, are just like video games almost, but you're learning Flexbox CSS. And I still like kind of use what I learned in those games at work. So definitely very helpful. Um, and I'll link those below. And I'll, like I said, I'll go through and try to remember everything that I used that I thought was pretty helpful. But yeah, so that was my experience and some tips I had for people who wanted to do boot camps, who are thinking about doing boot camps. I don't want to deter you from doing a boot camp, but like I said, it is a huge financial and time commitment and character commitment. So it is a lot to think about, but I am an open book. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will get back to you. Doing a bootcamp has literally changed my life, so it is something that I like talking about. I like talking about my experience and how it's been able to help me. And yeah, I think if this is something that you're interested in, it's definitely worth pursuing and at least finding out if it is something you should do or figuring out if you should take one of those alternate paths and being more self-taught. Or going back to school, like if you have the capabilities to go back to school, that is another option that you could do. So I can't talk too much about that because I don't have a CS degree. So I, I will leave that to people who do. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful. And like I said, let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in my next video. Bye.